Hello, I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is MySans 3 Minutes Max. Uh, today, I want to cover something that came up in a question about yesterday's video when we were talking about uh, imaging RAM and uh, the fact that obviously it's imaged live. And the question comes from Vic Chester. And Vic's question was, uh, is there any way to quantify how much memory your forensic tool used while on the system? And is this even something to worry about? Well, first of all, in terms of worrying about it, um, we don't worry about it because there's no alternative. You're going to have to introduce software to the system, uh, and that's going to necessarily make some changes to the RAM. Uh, what we have to ask ourselves is, is it going to, uh, is that change going to be something materially adverse to us. Now, I had said yesterday that our next talk was going to be talking about uh, these changes and when you may not want to make changes to the system. We're pushing that out to tomorrow so that we can answer this question. So um, uh, to answer the question kind of backwards, uh, no, it doesn't. It's not something we would worry about because it's going to make a change. So but the, the benefits outweigh uh, the, the negative impact. As far as doing that, of course, we want to leave the smallest footprint possible. Uh, any uh, RAM imaging tool that we're going to run is going to be run from a thumb drive that we're going to insert into the system. Well, the insertion of the USB drive to the system by itself is going to now make changes to the system and to the RAM. So we want to make as small a change as possible. Uh, it goes without saying that any command line tool is going to leave a much smaller footprint in the RAM than a GUI based or, or a graphical user interface based type of tool. So Comey Dump It, uh, a program called Dump It by Comey, C-O-M-A-E, uh, is a great tool of choice, as is WinPMem from Recall. Both of those are command line tools that uh, we highly recommend for RAM acquisition. Uh, for GUI-based tools, you know, a number of the, the, the uh, bigger um, tools have uh, a memory acquisition facet to them, but again, they're GUI-based, so they have to run, they have to open up a, a nice colorful window for you to do things, and this is all happening in the RAM. Probably one of the most popular ones for this purpose is uh, FTK Imager. FTK Imager will image RAM, but understand what it's doing differently from the command line tools. So FTK Imager is using a, a user mode level driver as opposed to a kernel mode driver to access the RAM. So in cases like this, it could potentially be affected by malware running in the RAM that will uh, uh, interrupt the collection or interfere with the memory collection. Uh, so we have to be mindful that this is a possibility. I hope that that answers your question. And until tomorrow, have a great day.